Time for sports. Ole Miss back on the diamond for an early season series finale against LSU as the team faced off at noon. The Rebels trying to prevent the sweep, and they did it in a huge way in dramatic fashion. Lots of fans at Swayze for this one. LSU had a sweep on their minds. They came out hot. Gavin Dugas gets all of that, sends it over the wall near center field. Four nothing Tigers in the third. Then Drew Bianco, the son of Ole Miss head coach Mike Bianco. It's a bloop singer in the center field. That placed two runs. LSU up six nothing in the start, but Ole Miss made a furious comeback. Rebels down 9-2. Peyton Chatagnier goes deep for a three-run homer in the bottom of the eighth, making it a 9-5 game. Same inning, TJ McCants followed that up with a grand slam to tie the game, and he hits it over center field. What a turn of events at Swayze. Then the bottom of the night, the freshman Kemp Alderman swings at the first pitch from Ty Floyd. All he can do is watch. Alderman with the walk-off game-winning hit. Ole Miss comes back from an eight-run deficit to win 10-9. Here's the hero of the game. I've always been an Ole Miss fan my whole life, and this is what I dreamed of. And uh, in the last inning when I was in the right field, I said, you know, this is what you've been waiting for your whole life. Go up there, don't try to do too much, have some fun and see what happens and it paid off. You know, something we needed, obviously, it's, uh, uh, it hasn't been a good you know, few weeks for us. And so we'll take the next couple of days off and uh, it's probably a lot better pause ending this way uh, than, you know, what could have happened. Oh, Miss whole South Carolina next weekend and they are a happy team right there.